Hi, my name is Levi, and this is a tutorial on how to use Guitar Pro 7 as an amp simulator for your guitar. So, uh, thing number one to mention is in order to make all this happen, of course you're going to need uh, your guitar, um, a cable for the guitar, a, a USB audio interface, um, and of course you're gonna need Guitar Pro. So those are all the, kind of the prereqs of what you need and uh, and yeah, let's get into how this actually works. We're gonna go into Guitar Pro 7 and we've got the window open here. Um, all right, so this is, this is where we're gonna start. We're gonna go to the top right corner. There's this line in button, all right? By default, this is turned off, and it says, warning, audio feedback. If you basically are using a lot of gain, you can get a lot of feedback. So be very carefully, because if you turn that on, um, yeah, you don't want to get a whole bunch of feedback, go deaf, blow your speakers, anything like that. So um, yeah, start off with your volume turned down, both on your guitar and your speakers, and then very carefully bring that up in volume. Anyways, I'm gonna turn mine on, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna run, th run you through the settings to get you kind of started. So um, I'm using input two on my audio interface, but uh, you know, use whatever input that you have. If you have one input and input one, uh, use input one. I'm just using input two because my input one is used for something else right now. So yeah, we got that. Effects chain, that's just basically allowing you to use all these effects, which I think are really useful. Um, that's the whole point of trying to use this as an amp sim is to use the effects. So yeah, we're gonna have that on. These are what my settings look like. They're not perfect, but they're what I'm using to start with. So anyways, in here, uh, this whole right panel here, is called the inspector. So over here you can control like turning each of these big panels on or off. Um, I like to have them all on so I know what I'm looking at. But yeah, over here in the, the right panel, the inspector panel, we're just gonna work on the track level for now, okay? So basically in this setting that I have, um, I have uh, an overdrive setting. There's a bunch of presets. Um, I recommend that you play around with finding some of these presets, playing through them, seeing what you like, what you don't like. There's also other things you can try. You can try presets for bass guitar and some other stuff. So anyways, that's that. Those are the presets. Now getting into the actual controls. Um, you can go into here, click all these buttons, and then you get controls for each part of the effect chain. So in here, uh, we've got our drive, our tone, our level for our green screamer or overdrive. Uh, you know, there's presets and stuff in there too, which is kind of useful. But anyways, yeah, these are all just different controls, different parameters that we can use to kind of color our sound however we like it. So, so yeah, if you want, you know, a vintage amp with a tube screamer on it, then there you go. And then to EQ it, I've noticed too that by stock, like standard, the output, on the EQ is quieter than normal. So yeah, anyways, with all that stuff, I like to turn turn up the EQ volume. And then sometimes I'll EQ it as necessary. You know, if let's say I needed to cut a certain frequency or boost a certain frequency, then you can do it. All right, so that's kind of the basic idea. One thing I'd like to mention as well is over here are the different channels. So let's say um, I'm on this channel. The effects that I've set up on this channel is what I'm gonna hear with my line in on my guitar. If I switch over to a different channel, now I'm gonna hear those effects. So let's say this one's like a medium gain and this one's a high gain, then my medium gain channel, I have to click over here to, to hear that medium gain. And then over here, I have to click here for my high gain sound. All right, well, that, that's basically it. Uh, from there, you can kind of play around with it. There's all of these different um, plugins and effects that you can use. And the best thing that you can do at this point is just experiment around, play around with some different sounds. Um, if you're not already learned up on how EQ works, watch some tutorials on EQ or compression or what different amps are supposed to sound like, things like that. Um, if you have any more questions about Guitar Pro 7 and need some more tutorials, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd definitely be interested in making more of these. Um, yeah, anyways, thanks very much. Keep on playing, keep on learning. Bye for now.